You've heard of 2014 World Cup, right? Of course you have. Next question. Do you know how much telecommunication traffic was generated during the World Cup? At the opening ceremony alone, 60,000 people were making phone calls and surfing the web, with over 135,000 phone calls made in total. Mobile data usage total 550G. How can anyone guarantee the transmission of so much data? Based on records, there were more than 300 antennas, 12 kilometers of optical fibers, and more than 100 transmission devices tasked with carrying that massive data. What if one of these devices was to misbehave? There would be an angry crowd to answer to. Therefore, protection for transport network devices and optical fibers is of key importance. In telecommunications, Blindside services refer to the voice, digital, or video service that pass through access networks and its switches and they finally reach the transmission network. To better understand an OTM, you could compare it to the supermarket. Blindside services are the groceries, the OTU is a checkout clerk, the multiplexer and demultiplexer unit is a bag boy, and the car used to get to the store is the transfer medium. The general process for service delivery is OTU access to multiplexer and demultiplexer unit packaging to optical fiber transmission. To extend our metaphor, the general process for service transmission would be that the groceries pass through the checkout clerk where all the tags are removed, which is roughly akin to how the OTU converts client-side services into signals that are suitable for transmission over the OTM. Next comes the bagging, especially tough packaging to protect these delicate items. This is similar to multiplexer or demultiplexer unit integrating and amplifying signals. Properly packaged signals occupy less space and are easier to transport. Lastly, we need a vehicle to take our groceries home. In our daily lives, we have two-wheel bikes and motorcycles and four-wheel cars. But on a transport network, optical fibers are the most common transport medium. With our vehicles, we can ship our groceries anywhere in the world. During service transmission, there are a host of protection schemes to choose from that can help our goods arrive safely. How do we implement this protection? This is where our X-Men comes into play. What is an X-Men? Our X-Men is an optical protection unit whose superpower is dual feed and selective receiving. Dual feed here is a replication mechanism that turns one outgoing service into two outgoing services. The second backup service is to help guarantee transmission. Selective receiving is like a filter that selects the better of the two identical incoming services after they both arrived. In most situations, both services will reach the destination, but we have to eventually choose just one. Our friend, the X-Man, appears in different places to help us protect our data. Put simply, when our X-Man, the optical protection unit, is in front of the OTU, this is known as client-side 1 plus 1 protection, or client-side protection. When our X-Man is behind the OTU, this is known as intraboard 1 plus 1 protection, or simply intraboard protection. When our X-Men is behind the multiplexer or demultiplexer unit, this is called optical line protection or simply line protection. If we want to be more technical, let's look closer at client-side protection. After a good has been copied by our X-Men and both copies have been sent to separate checkout counters and then to separate backboards for packing. They are then shipped away in two separate cars. As for intraband protection, a product is purchased at the checkout counter, duplicated by our X-Men, and then both copies are sent to two separate baggers and then two different cars. Finally, there's line protection, where a product is purchased at the checkout counter, backed by a bag boy, then duplicated by our X-Men and sent off in two different cars. Our X-Men is so strong, does he ever get a break? Only in intra-band protection scenarios, 
when an OTU line unit provides the dual feed and selective receiving function. In this one situation, we don't need our X-Man, but in all other situations, we need his help. Our X-Man is truly a superhero. Such a powerful system provides protection for each service segment. When the transport network experiences problem, the above protection schemes provide service recovery in less than 50 milliseconds. 50 milliseconds? Yes, that's right. Would a system like that help you relax more? Smooth sailing and blue skies indeed. <laughs>